Good morning guys and welcome to this edition of Hycopedia and welcome to Jai County. Now as you may be aware Taiwan recently suffered a devastating earthquake over on the east coast and um, as we speak the rescue efforts uh, are still ongoing so our hearts go out to the people affected by the, the earthquake and um, a jayo to all those people working hard to rescue those still missing and um, fix up Taroko Gorge because it's a real mess right now which means Taroko National Park is closed which means that Andrew and I have had to cancel our planned trip to Pingfengshan We've had to scale down our plans. Instead of a Baiyue, we're now going to be doing several Shao Baiyue. So we've come to Jai County and we've set ourselves a challenge. We're going to try and complete five out of the six Shao Baiyue in Jai in two days. And we've just arrived at the foot of the first one which is called Li Shan or Asian Pear Foot Mountain if you literally translate it so yeah that's what we're going to be doing and we're just starting the first one so let's go come on The place we're in is called Taiping and it's actually in the Alishan region of Taiwan which is why you can see all these lovely tea terraces because uh, if you're not aware Alishan is a famous place for growing high mountain tea as we translate it from Chinese or Gaoshan Cha Andrew's happy steps he's smiling inside You would not believe the amount of three-legged dogs you see in rural Taiwan. And now a lot of them, as far as I'm aware, have lost their legs in traps set by hunters. Uh, it's, uh, it's amazing how many three-legged dogs I've seen over the years. I've lost count. Finished already. 20 minutes or so. Shall buy you number 57. Li Zi Jiao Shan. Even the best laid plans go awry sometimes. Um, there's been some confusion. Originally, we thought the Jin Shan at the end of this trail was one of the mountains that we had lined up for this trip. But now we've discovered that Jin Shan is actually in Yunlin and not Jai. So what we've decided to do is to swap out Duli Shan, which was supposed to be the second one for today, and instead we're going to do Yunlin Dajin Shan. So we'll still get five by year in, except one of them will be in Yunlin and not Jai. 
There's been a couple of like male prisoners and male pilots. I've just realised that the mountain that we're heading to, Da Jin Shan in Yunlin, I've actually climbed it before in my coffee video, which you haven't seen, then you can check it out here. So I'm considering just waiting here and letting Andrew go there and come back because it's raining. I've got a raincoat. Andrew hasn't. Oh, Andrew's got a raincoat as well, but it's in the car. Keeping the car dry. <laughs> that was a great bit of timing on our behalf. We uh, got to the temple just as the rain came down and met those lovely people who gave us eggs and buns and top quality tea as well. So uh, that was really nice. So we're on the Great Divide. On this side you got tea, on this side coffee because if you go down into that valley there that's one of Taiwan's main coffee growing areas out of the mist we're at Jinshan only one more to go oh yeah that's right I'm gonna do this how do you do it? Oh, that, right? Okay, right. we've just crossed the border now into Yunlin County. It feels different. What a beautiful name. And now we've got a, new, a nice. I've been here before, so uh, we just got a little walk across past a restaurant and uh, to Andrews. Shao Bai, yeah, but it's not mine because I've done it before. Down, but then they try the same. Yeah. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Jia, oh, Yun, Jia, Da Jin Shan. Shao Bai, yeah, 56. Okay, and back we go. Ah! We're walking along the ridge here and the wind is blowing over the tea plants and you get a lovely so nice. smell, aroma of tea as we're walking. Makes me want to drink some actually, but we haven't got any. Floral fragrance. The floral notes. Oh, it's slippy here. What is shaking? All right, so we've bitten the bullet and decided to do Taiping Shan to finish all five of the Yun Jia Wu Lian Fong, is it? Yes, so Richard, how does it feel to have five new mountains today? No comment. <laughs> He's trying to provoke me because I've only got three new ones. And I've missed out on Mount Independence. No Duli Shan for me today. 
I have to come back another time to do that one. But that's okay. We love hiking. All five peaks done and um, really didn't take that long did it? Four and a half hours maybe but we we did take a wrong turn a couple of times but that was entirely of our own doing it wasn't because we got lost because it was difficult it was just because we were stupid. Now we're heading down to Taiping Laojie or Old Street to uh, see what local delights they've got on offer. Ooh. This um, Laojie is looks pretty nice but um, because it's a Tuesday and it's already 4.30 it's pretty quiet. I think if you came here at the weekend it would be super busy but um, Actually when we came, when we arrived earlier today it was quite busy, but now it's uh, not. Okay. okay, so we're getting some drinks from this shop and they've got the Donggua down there, winter melon, absolutely massive. And then they use it to make this, it's like concentrate with sugar. And then when you want to drink, you mix it with hot water to make uh, what they call in Chinese Dong Gua Cha, uh, winter melon tea. And uh, Andrew's got just normal tea, but I've actually ordered a winter melon and lemon. So uh, we're going to check it out in a minute. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. So, oh, my Thai dollar. <laughs> so I've got my donggua, homemade donggua cha and lemon. Let's try it. Oh, that is super refreshing. And um, quite honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of just straight donggua. So with the lemon, it's actually quite nice. Not that sweet. Although it's probably a little bit sweet. Andrew, how is your tea? It's beautiful. Just what the doctor ordered. After walking through the tea all day. Oh yeah. Nice, refreshing. We've been walking through it all day, smelling tea. it, and now this we're drinking it. Mm. Cheers. Although it says Don Guan Mei on there. Not. wasabi. <laughs> Uh, oh. They've got bona fide wasabi right there. First time I've ever seen it. We are in Funchihu by the way, which is like a very um, small town along the train line from Jai to Alishan. Um, but we arrived after dark and so everything's closed. Um, but we managed to get a Fen Chi Hu Bian Dang. This place is the Fulong of the mountains. <laughs> and so we got, we also got a reasonably priced hotel. <laughs> $2,000 for both of us, so a thousand each. And this is the, uh, the train station, although it's a bit quiet right now. Andrew's on the platform. I think he's wishful thinking if he thinks a train's going to show up. We've got one vegetarian being done and one pork and chicken being done. And also we've got this special Ali Shan Taiwan beer. It's, what did they say it was? Shui Mi Tao. Peach and Sakura flavor. Cherry. So uh, we'll give them a try. <laughs> Mm. 
，好吃，谢谢。Bin Dang finished. It was pretty good, except for the dos or whatever the hell they were. These red things. Not a fan of those. I'll never really have been. I've had them before, but not a fan. The, the rest of the Bin Dang was pretty good, and the beer is nice, although it's a bit sweet. Uh, Andrew, how's your vegetarian special? Yeah, it's good, but it's there's a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Too much food. Ugh. But uh, yeah, it's been a good day. Good hikes. Good day. Uh, good food. Cheers. Uh, ready again for some more in the morning. But you never know. Just the two of us. Oh, that's actually that's actually quite funny.